As we continue to celebrate Earth Day, it's important to recognize our forests are in danger. Ancient trees like the mighty sequoia are facing new threats as the effects of climate change escalate. Kena Whitworth shows us why our forests are so critical and the work being done to save them. Earth's three trillion trees can be considered the planet's lungs, taking in carbon dioxide and breathing out the oxygen we need to live. Along with other vegetation, trees capture about a third of our annual global fossil fuel emissions, a key defense in our warming world. But since the 1900s, Earth has lost almost 2.5 billion acres of forest. That's roughly the size of the United States. The result of disease, logging, and extreme conditions caused by climate change. Saving our forests is the subject of National Geographic Magazine's May issue. In the southeast, the bald cypress tree, which can live up to 1,200 years, thrives along the riverbanks and swamps. In the Carolinas, some areas that were once lush cypress groves are now what scientists call ghost forests, all dead due to encroaching salt, in part from rising sea levels. It's risen over 11 inches since 1950 in North Carolina, so this is not something that's going to happen in the future. It's something that has already happened. And in California, wildfire threatens our giant sequoias, trees that can live more than 3,000 years, now burning in record numbers. It took two years to destroy 19% of these trees, and these things have been around since the birth of Jesus, Julius Caesar. The world's most massive trees can reach heights of more than 300 feet, the oldest known is 3,266 years old. This one ignited by a windblown ember last year, but still alive. It took creative intervention to put out the fire. Firefighters climbing up hundreds of feet to where I'm at now with hoses. And without that intervention, this tree would have continued to burn for months. And from this high up, the wind can cast embers for miles, threatening the entire Sequoia National Forest. Clip it to yourself. Showing me the ropes. So I start by pulling my feet up. Forest canopy scientist Anthony Ambrose. So we've had to climb about 75, 80 feet in the air before we reached a limb. And that's one of the ways that these trees are so protected from fire, right? Because the ground fire isn't going to torch their limb. Yeah, exactly. It's really hard to get through this really thick bark. So the trees generally uh, aren't harmed at all. So when you're seeing a sequoia on fire, and that means we're dealing with more intense, hotter, more frequent fires. Yeah, that's exactly correct. Fire isn't the only threat. With increased drought, they're shedding more foliage to help conserve water. But that foliage is critical to taking carbon out of the atmosphere. You're actually adding to the problem that is causing the trees to go away. When I first started researching these trees, uh, you know, more than 10, 15 years ago, I was aware of the potential threat, but now we're starting to see it in real time. So, you know, yeah, I'm definitely getting alarmed. Second generation arborist BJ Absher has been caring for trees nearly 20 years and has seen the toll climate change has taken. What is concerning you the most when it comes to the overall health of the trees? That tree care behooves everybody. The life of a tree, the trees are the answer for so many things that we don't even know the questions for yet. But erosion, air quality, you know, all these things, property value, all these things can be solved with more trees, better trees, proper management of trees. Absolutely. They've celebrated family reunions under their prized black maple since the 1920s. You can't replace a 150-year-old maple tree with a 150-year-old maple tree. Mm -hmm. um, tree planting is real important. The trees are a natural resource. They are sustainable. They are renewable. But they're not going to do it on their own. we got to take care of them, proper management and awareness. Over in Syracuse, New York, William Powell's team is using genetic engineering to bring a disease-ravaged species back from functional extinction, the American chestnut. One of the most populous trees in the eastern United States rendered functionally extinct by disease imported from Europe that makes them unable to reproduce. With modern techniques and biotechnology, we've actually discovered a way to make the tree tolerant of this blight that has wiped it out. So basically we're giving this weapon to the tree to defend itself against the fungus. If they get federal approval to distribute the modified species, it will be another century before the forests return to a semblance of what they were. For now, Powell hopes his work can act as a blueprint to protect other threatened tree species. 
For example, the cypress, if you could develop lines that are more salt tolerant, theoretically, you could also make trees more fire tolerant by just changing a few genes in the tree. Each tree still standing, adapting to a changing planet. And Mona, there used to be millions of those American chestnut trees throughout Virginia, and tomorrow they plan on reintroducing that hybrid version that is blight resistant. And it really, though, it takes arborists and scientists being high up in the canopies like this to really take care of the trees, because from up here, they can see things like disease and decay that you just can't see from the ground and where I'm at right now, I'm about 50 feet up in one of the oldest black maples in the entire state of Virginia. And the arborists that take care of this tree tell me that while people are part of the problem in this changing environment, Mona, we can also be the solution. All right, Kana, we're gonna believe you because I'm gonna stay right here on the ground, but thank you for that report. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.